Hello, today we're going to be working on a word problem that includes subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. Jessica and Gia both order a large pizza. After eating, Jessica sees that she has three fourths of pizza left over and Gia has one half of pizza left over. How much more pizza does Jessica have left over than Gia? So we're going to begin with our sentence stem. Our sentence stem is three-fourths minus one-half because we're looking to see how much more pizza has Jessica than Gia. So we went ahead and for our concrete model, we drew up, we built our pizzas and we showed that Jessica's pizza has three-fourths of pizza left over and Gia has one half of pizza left over. Since we're working with unlike denominators, we have to try to figure out an equivalent fraction to either one half or three fourths. I chose to find the equivalent fraction to one half because I can see that we can divide Gia's pizza into fourths to create an equivalent fraction. So by doing that, we are going to create Gia's pizza, but we're going to be dividing it into fourths. And we're going to shade in Gia's pizza just like so. And we see that by dividing her, her pizza into fourths, we get two fourths of pizza is equivalent to one half of pizza that Gia started out with. By having an equivalent fraction, it makes it easier to do our sentence stem. So we have the three fourths that Gia, that Jessica had left over minus the two fourths that is equivalent to one half that Gia has left over is one fourth pizza that Jessica has more than Gia. And by looking back to our concrete model, we see that both pizzas have one fourth shaded in, two fourth shaded in, and Jessica has one fourth more than Gia. We can move on to our pictorial model where we can draw out Jessica's pizza which is broken up into fourths. And Gia's pizza, which is broken up into halves. We know that Jessica has three fourths of pizza left over. And Gia has one half. But from our concrete model, we know that one half is equivalent to Two fourths. So we can go ahead and shade in our two fourths. And we can say goodbye to Gia's old one half pizza. So by looking at our two pizzas that have a like denominator, we can see that both pizzas again have one fourth shaded in and two fourths shaded in. And it leaves Jessica having one fourth pizza more than Gia. And now for our abstract model, we know that our sentence stem is three fourths minus one half. We know that one half has an equivalent fraction that is two fourths. So we can disregard our sentence stem from the beginning and we can write three fourths minus our two fourths, which is an equivalent fraction to one half, and we get one fourth pizza 
that Jessica has more than Gia.